were here in Kansas City to try Kansas barbecue. We were told to come here, so we flew all the way from San Diego. We are trying three different spots. One of them is a hidden gem. One is a classic and one is the new club on the block with a modern twist on barbecue. But which one do us two Brits think is going to be the best? We will tell you at the end of the video. I will also tell you how much each one costs. I'm always a bit spicy. <laughs> We are here today at Joe's Barbecue. We're here to try the famous sandwiches and the famous barbecue. I, I can't wait. And, and if it wasn't cool enough, it's actually inside a gas station with working gas pumps. Let's go and try it. Okay. And we have a spread. We are. Don't we? And where do we start with this? Because we went for all the meat. We did. We asked the server what was the best options and she came out with these. Basically. Yeah. So, so what, what did we get? We got ribs, burnt ends, and then a Zeeman sandwich. Yep. Award-winning mac and cheese. Yes. Texas toast. And the fries, because apparently they're pulled great. Pork. Oh yeah, the pulled pork. You I miss the pulled pork. <laughs> okay. So I am going to start with a rib. I think these are pork ribs. They're a lot smaller than the Texas ribs. They are. Oh look, it falls mm. straight off the bone. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, I'm mm. laughing at you and also the guy in the car revving his engine. <laughs> he's got some great music going on. You might not be able to hear this at the end, but he's got some great music. Oh, that's delicious. Try some ribs. Right, let me go. So. And it's not got any sauce. It's got like a little bit of sauce on. It's kind of sweet. Yeah, it's got like a dry rub on the outside. Yeah, it's kind of sweet. Oh, but look. Yeah. You, just, you, you don't ha even have to tear at it. it just you do falls. not. And to... I believe Kansas is all about mm. the sauce. Oh my God. Yeah. They're so sweet in texture and taste, aren't they? But they're also smoky. Mm. There is definite smoke coming through there. Wow. Um, wow, that sauce is sweet. Is it? Mm. Oh, and it's it's got some, it's got a kick to it. Has it? Mm. What's, it's no, there's, no, it's our, there's no instructions on it, so we don't know which one is which, but. That one's a spicy one. Let's try the spicy one. Okay. And let's try them. Oh, I, I got quite a piece. Let me put a bit more on. Let's go in all in. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm guessing mm. the small one mm. is a spicy one. The large one is not spicy. That packs quite a punch, doesn't it? It does. Wow. It's good, isn't it? It's really sweet though. I it's love that. It's really sweet. These ribs, mm. they are. Look how juicy they are. It just falls off, doesn't it? Look at that. I don't know if you can see that, but. As I'm squeezing it, the juice is coming out. Look mm. at that. Mm. Wowzers. So, apparently, mm. while you're finishing that, wow. Look at that. That's good. The burnt ends yes. are cut off the ends of the ribs. These are the bits that they apparently tidy up the ribs and ordinarily ah, would get. Ah, okay. They just, uh... <laughs> you can tell I'm enjoying it when my <laughs> wife has to clear my face from. Um, these are the clear, but they now sell them here in Kansas. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. They don't end. Mmm. Let's go. They are salty. And that bark on there, I got told that bark. Oh, look at that piece. It's got bark on two sides. Oh. Now. That's like a pro move, isn't it? Look mm, at that. They're so soft. Wow. Aren't they delicious? And oh, we're not man. even putting sauce. We're meant to put sauce on everything. They are amazing. They are, aren't they? They are so tender. Yeah. Yet juicy. Yeah. And the taste of that outside and then the uh, seasoning is amazing, isn't it? Mm, that with the sauce up. Mm. That is delicious. Mm. That is so soft and juicy. Yeah. Is, this, is this brisket then? I don't I think so. I think it's it must like, be. It's like the ends of brisket, is it? I think so. And then of course we have the pulled pork and everything here you're supposed to put sauce on. Yeah. But I feel like we should try it without the sauce and then with the sauce. Now, I'm not, that looks a little drier than I thought it was going to be. It does look a little dry. Mm. Oh. Good. Yeah. I'm going to have to put some sauce on that bit. Just. It is tender. Mm. I'll try this sweet sauce. Oh, that came out a bit quicker than I thought it was going to do. So I have mm. quite a lot of sauce on that. That looks good though. Mm. It's nice. Mm. Not a great deal of flavour to it on its own, mm. but with the sauce, the sauce definitely gives it a zumpf. Mm. Yeah. A zumpf. <laughs> and then 
I think we should try the award-winning mac and cheese. Yes. The server seemed quite proud of this, like they've won awards for it. That's what she mm. said. Mm. So let's try. Oh. Oh, wow. Yeah. It doesn't, oh. doesn't appear to have anything in it, like any brisket or anything like that, does it? doesn't need it. I can see why that won awards. It is so creamy. That is delicious, mm. isn't it? So we had mac and cheese at that high-end steak restaurant back in Texas. Yes, we did. This, I would say, is equally as good yes, as nice. that, that, isn't is, it? That it is, is nice. really good. It's cheesy, mm. but not overly cheesy. It's more creamy, isn't it? But that is delicious. That is so good. Oh, oh, I can see why that won awards. Yes, I can. And it also comes with Texas toast. So do you build a sandwich with that? Yeah. I'm mm, going with all you. of Oh, you're trying it all now. This is a pro yeah. meat. Oh, bit. So you've got pulled pork, you've got the burnt end, and now you're putting rib on it as well. Well, you know, wow. when in row. Look at that. Barbecue sauce, darling. Oh, yes. Don't mind if I do. Spicy or non-spicy? Oh, I'm always a bit spicy. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be the judge of that. Let um, me try that. Which bit mm -mm. do I go for first? Mm -mm -mm. Mm. The meat on its own is amazing. Mm. But in a sandwich, game changing. I'm going to eat the pickles. That uh, toast is like buttery and stuff on top of the meat. And with thick. A, mm, that is really good. It is, isn't it? That is delicious. And then. We have the Zeman, which they are famous. And fries. They are famous for their Zeman. Mm. So I don't. So what is the Zeman sandwich? I have no idea. I think we went. Oh, it's brisket. It's okay. brisket. And look how thinly sliced. Mm. Look how thinly sliced that brisket is. It's not thick at all. Now, now the thing with this that I'm really looking forward to is the onion rings. I'm trying to get anything with onion rings on. In my opinion, is world class and before it's got you even try. Barbecue sauce. On oh, it. So look at this, right? Cheese, going in. So it's brisket, cheese, onion rings, and barbecue sauce on a bread roll or a. So we call these balm cakes mm. in Manchester. Mm. Don't we? That. Mm-hmm. Wow. That combination mm. works so well. The crispy onion mix, yeah. the soft bread, the brisket, the cheese. In fact, I didn't even taste any of the... I got lots of mm. barbecue sauce there. That is delicious, mm. isn't it? The brisket on its own. Taste the smoke and the yeah. brisket. Wow. Mm. That mm. is outstanding, isn't it? Yeah, the smokiness of that brisket is delicious. Yeah. Wow, 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 wow. But you've got all of the textures as well because you've got the crispiness of the onion ring. Yep. And that barbecue sauce is not overpowering. And the onion rings aren't um, greasy either. No. Are they? Which sometimes they can be. Mm. But of course, we have to finish. We wouldn't be, wouldn't be able to finish if we didn't have fries. Mm. And these fries are apparently yeah, amazing. Oh. Mm, they are. They are really good. Oh, thank you. They're seasoned. Mm. Put seasoning on them. They are good, aren't they? Mm -hmm. So, of all of these, which is your favourite? That Zeman sandwich. The Zeman sandwich. Yeah. I'm kind of a fan of the ribs, I'm going to be honest. Well, we've got other places that we've got to go. Yes, we have So we're going to finish this. Yes. And we will see you back at our next spot. Mm. Oh, this is so exciting. Our next barbecue spot. Yeah. Just as we were about to leave Joe's barbecue, we got this special invite into the kitchen to see those ribs being smoked and made. Everything awesome. we do, all the smokehouses see up. I got three smokers up here, but otherwise our fryers, they slice it and they dice it. That's Smel the smallest little kitchen because we yeah. take everything fresh, everything. The smell in here is magnificent. <laughs> we, don't, we don't smell it anymore. Oh, yeah. wow. We've been here long enough, but the neighbors and stuff, we drive that Yeah, yeah. yeah. How's it going? Hi. Good, how are you? Doing great. Yeah. These are the ones I'm going to show you. Actually, he's going to show you this name. Uh, Hi. And because we got nothing downstairs. Right. But these are our original ones. Wow. So, yes. And then downstairs, we got ones that are probably about one and a half of these. Yeah, one and a half at 
least, I would say. Renee yeah. versus Food, Anthony Bourdain, and yeah. all those guys came. Yeah. Boom, boom. We opened up two more stores. Yeah. And we needed more room. Wow. So, so this is the original one. So how, how much like, sort of meat would you smoke on a daily basis then? Um. So we've got our. I'll give you a count. I'll give you a count for Saturday. Yeah. Which is at 400 and. 21 slabs per day. Wow. I believe it. Um, and how long do you smoke it for then? We do our first check after three hours. Yeah. So, like, we put these in at 1130, so at 230, we'll check. Yeah. So, this is the picture we got. Oh, wow. Look at that. Make it spin for Wow. That looks amazing. <laughs> See that, Nick? Yeah. I wish they would have been in a little longer and had more color. Too. No, no, I mean, that this looks is. Amazing. You see them. Oh, yeah, I know, that is amazing. We just ripped. I had to help out, I think, uh, for training for like 30 minutes or so. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> it hurt my hand. Yeah. I was sore for a week. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bone off and just kind of clean it up on the side. Yeah. Make it more consistent, the smoking process. Yes. You don't have to worry about it. It's a little bit easier to keep track because they're all similar to size. Yes, yes. So you're not getting some overly done, done, some overdone, some underdone. Wow, it's a definite skill, that, isn't it? Just like that. <laughs> wow. So that would have taken me about five minutes. <laughs> one tub is what we yeah. say. I'll have a tub right here. Not yeah. One tub will hold uh, 48 actual slabs. Yeah. This year alone, I've got 317, I think, for about wow. Slabs. Tubs. Tubs. So take that times 48. That's how wow. I've this year. So wow. What's your most popular meat? What is the most popular thing you sell? Uh, it starts with bird ends. Yeah. They would. The city's known for a bird end. Yeah. We do them right. Yeah. Uh, the next <laughs> one is ribs. Yeah. I think the ribs are the most consistent, mm. most flavorful. They take them, they know when they're done. Each yeah. one yeah. here, they're fabulous every time. Yeah. All the time. Absolutely. Thank you, so I appreciate that. Uh, you guys are they're dedicated to do a lot. Yeah. Otherwise, it's a sea man sandwich. Yeah. We, we've just had all three of those things and they were all spectacular. So yeah, good. they're really, really good. good Thank good, you. Good. Thank you so yeah, much so for your much. time. I appreciate it. Thank you. We are here at Q39 to try some of the specialties that they have. I can't wait because Kansas City, mm. we were told, had great barbecue. Yeah. I can't wait. Boy, oh boy. Wow. There is a lot of meat. Wow. We got all, all the meats. All of the meats. We bring on the meat. <laughs> that Arby's. That, something like that, yeah. But we're not Arby's. No, no. Oh, wow. Well, my mouth is watering looking yes. at this. So I am just going to go straight, straight for the ribs. In for the this ribs. is what they're famous for. Oh. Now, just in case anybody's oh. thinking, we have paid for everything on here. We never get anything oh. free, do we? So, right, mm -hmm. let me try this one. Mm. Wow. Oh, it's falling off already. Look at that. That is so tender. Everything's slightly smoked. Not mm. a lot overly smoked, wow. is it? But that. Wow. It's perfect. Look how clean the bone is. It is so clean. But can you taste that very delicate smoke to mm. it? And we found out when we were in Texas that all depends on the wood you use. But it also has a bit of a chew to it. It's not like it just melts in your mouth. It's soft, it's tender, but it still has a little bit of a chew to it. And it has sauce on there already. Mm. You're correct, yeah. it does have that chew. Mm. And it has sauce, we've not even tried the sauces. No, so we've got different levels of sauce here as well. One is the chipotle, so maybe let's try with the sausage. Now look yeah. at this. Which is made in-house. Look at all of it. He said it was... Um, Fat and... What did he say? It was ground? Coarse ground. That was the word. In-house. So they use all of the leftovers, I think. I wasn't concentrated. All I could do was it's think about the meat. meat, 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 meat. <laughs> I was like, oh, what? Meat, uh, meat. I don't know. That's all I heard is <laughs> meat. He's me. So I'm going to start at this end because I think this is the smoky one. I'm going to try it without. Ah, uh, too late. Oh, wow. Fat. Yeah, I'm going to go with the sauce anyway. It wow. has a smoky flavour to it. I don't know if mm. you get it with the sauce. That is mm. so good. That sausage is outstanding. It is has the smoky flavour to it. Mm. Well, again, well, see, I feel like my favourite word is well seasoned. I want to start a bingo card. <laughs> yeah. How many times going to say the same, same thing? thing? That. That sausage is amazing. 
That could be the best sausage I've ever eaten. <laughs> It is. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. I think it's just you saying that. Um, that. That is really good. Do you know what? That on a on a bread roll with a fried egg would be absolutely amazing. It would be. You are correct. Smoked. It's smoky. It's chewy. It's all of that. It's all of those things. Seasoned. Mm. It's got spice to it. It's got a bit of. That's a little bit of a kick to it, doesn't it? Does. it? Yeah. I was just thinking that. I thought it might have been the sauce I tasted no, a minute ago, but it's, the it's sausage, actually the sausage it's got, which too. is made in house every day. Hmm. I'm going for the burn and which is apparently what mm. Kansas is famous for. Sorry. Yeah. Getting too excited. You're, you're nudging the table and everything's shaking. Because <laughs> I'm so excited. So this burnt ends. Is what they're famous for? Yes. <laughs> I can just tell by your face. After 22 years I can tell what that face means. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they are delicious. They it's got a little bit of sauce on the top already. So. And a little bit of bark on there too. The seasoning. Mm. They're so good, aren't they? Everything is, is chewy but tender. Yeah. Like you said, everything's got a bit of a bite to it. Yeah. But it's still tender. I didn't know you could do the two things at once. No, no. Mm. Oh, I love that. That's, that's delicious, isn't it? Mm. 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 Wow, this you weren't delicious. wrong. This is really good. That. Where next? I think we have to go. Is this a pulled pork? That's pulled pork, yeah. So I tried the second sauce, this one. It was yeah. quite sweet. Yes. So this is a pulled pork, and that looks juicy. That pulled pork. Yes, yeah. I know it's got sauce on top, but underneath you can see like the glistening of juiciness. Yeah. So he said they use a, a lot of apple juice mm. in the wow the making of this. Look at that. Like you say, it just gl it's glistening with that like, is, juice. That is so tender. Wow. And just as we are getting into our barbecue eating stride, who turns up but the barbecue expert extraordinaire to explain how their barbecue differs from most and how they get those delicious flavors into all that meat. Mm. So what you're having as burnt ends. Yes. The brisket has the tip, that's your burnt end, but yeah. also the lean part of the brisket. Mm -hmm. We're a little bit of a hybrid, so if you go somewhere else in Kansas City, your brisket experience will be a little different. Okay. Right. Because Texans, they leave it all together, they cook it all together, they slice it all together. Yeah. So it stays. So you have that yeah. whole fatty part on top yes. and then the lean part. Yeah. We smoke it all together. Yeah. Like they do. But then we separate what's going to be the burnt ends. Yeah. Like right before we slice it. And we still hand slice, even like yesterday, you know, we do 60 grand, but we hand slice every flavor. Good wow. Grief. To order. Wow. Um, so we separate it right before we're going to slice it, yeah. and then we, since the bottom doesn't have any bark, yeah. we put it on a white oak grill. Oh, right. To give it a little more. Mm. Ah. And then that gets cut into the burnt ends. And mm. then your brisket is going to be pretty lean, but it's still juicy because while it was smoking, the fat was rendering through it. Yeah. Most KC barbecue, you're going to find the brisket's going to be a little drier and a little leaner. Okay. Than ours. Yes because they separate it beforehand and they smoke the burn end and the brisket separate. Ah, okay. So Thank clever. You. So a little different. We're kind of a little bit of a hybrid that way. Okay. These I like the way they've got still a little bit of a chew to them, but they they, they do, to. yeah, they do melt. Um, most barbecue competitions are run by the Kansas City Barbecue Society. Yeah. Which obviously is here in Kansas City. <laughs> um, and the technical specialists, because all the managers here are barbecue judges. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Um, it's supposed to be able to pull clean, yes. but yes. not fall off. Right. Which it does. If yes. it falls off, it's a little too dumb. Yeah. You want it to pull clean. Okay. I didn't know that. I just, I just assumed, yeah. Theoretical Kansas City version perfect yeah. where ribs should be. And that did that. Yeah, that's perfect then. It, it, like you say, you can pull it away and it leaves a really clean yeah. bone. But, yeah, but it's still there. Yeah, I just well, assumed it would be the case off. where you want to be able to just yank it out or pull it out without any... No, if it just falls off, yeah. it's probably a little too done and they're going to be a little drier. Oh, all right. Yeah. It's more tender, yes. yeah. but drier. So to get a little bit of juiciness still in that rib, yeah. you yeah. want to have, a, have still have enough body to clean a little bit. Oh, wow. wow. So much goes into it. I know, yes, yeah. We're getting a real lesson. I didn't touch that yet. <laughs> no. It was because it was furthest and, and away. Have you tried the brisket? Not yet. Not yet. We're okay, getting well, on to that. Working our way around the. Your knife alone. <laughs> 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 thank, thank you. you. Cheers, thank you. So oh we, should, we should. There is so much goes into this. I feel this. that we've just got a whole lesson. Yes. So, like you said, this brisket is the leaner end of the brisket. Yes. Okay. And it's different to the style that you would get in Texas. Mmm. Mmm. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. It is completely oh, wow. different. Mm. That on a sandwich. Oh, that is amazing, is that isn't me? it? Is that bad? Mm. Put that on a sandwich. That is delicious. That is so good. And then... I was in it's interesting to find out that you just assume that it has to be really, really tender to win awards. But yeah. it makes sense now he mentions it, that to have a little bit of a bite means that it's been cooked. And what makes me happy is that that's what we thought, didn't we? It is good, isn't it? That brisket is amazing. It's really good. Mm. It is a lean end of the brisket, mm. but it's still juicy. Yeah. It's still tender. But that, it's got that little bit of a bite to it, yeah. hasn't it? I'm going in for the chicken. Chicken. Right, so we got wow. we got like a little chicken leg and a is chicken that a breast thigh. Or a thigh? It's a thigh, I think, is it? Oh, it's, it's like delicious. It is. Chicken thigh, let's try this. Smoky. Yeah. Oh, I'm trying to get flavoursome. Trying to get some with the skin on it. It melts in your mouth. That does melt. And am I I'm using a fork. Is that not the right way? Did you hear anything I just said then? What? I said it melts and it's juicy okay. and it's tender. He's just ignoring me. He's Sorry, not heard I'm, a word I'm, I've I'm said. Focusing He's on not the heard video. a word. Yeah. It's like what voice? It's like a. Did you, did you say something? It is really that chicken. Yes. I could eat all of this. I could have this every day. I yes. could have it all every day. Oh. And now, chicken skin. That usually has some really good flavour to it, so I'm going to try that. Okay. Do you want to try some? Yeah. Try and split it in half. We try to do one. That one? A little bit. I just I want know. a little. Because I'm, I'm, I'm a little nervous. We've got more barbecue to eat. Look at this. Oh. A little bit of the chicken skin. Oh, it's sweet. It's sweet barbecue. Mmm. That is delicious. Mm. That barbecue, take that barbecue's got sort of some spice running through mm. there. It's got a little bit of a hit, a little bit of a kick. So we've got the side still to hit. But we have to go to this. The pork belly, so let's, move, let's move on to that. And this has the corn, which I believe is a speciality of Kansas City, the creamy corn. Mm. Look at that corn. I don't know what, it's got, I think it's got cream. Oh, wow. So I'm not sure what this, what, is it like a cheese or is it? I'm, Try I'm, it, I'm, taste it, taste it. I can't even describe the flavour of it. I don't... Wow. It's like a creamy sauce. It's got like a creamy, cheesy, vinegary style yes. sauce. And then this is the pork belly. Now, pork belly is one of my favourites. And this has got a nice, like, colour on the outside. Like a back on the outside. That. <laughs> I, you love pork belly as well, don't you? So I'm... I'm wow. I've never tasted pork belly. That's your happy face right there, isn't it? Yeah. I'm dancing on the inside. I've never tasted pork belly. That okay. tasted like that. I'll, I'll be the judge. Of that. Okay. Oh, yeah. You're welcome. Like I cooked it. <clears throat> that is outstanding. You have to say you're welcome to Isaac because he told us to get this. Isaac is a genius. Oh. That is up there with the best pork belly ever breed. Ever. Ever. Sorry, I've just got a. Ever, ever, at, ever. At this point, I don't care if it's all over my face. I would, that. I would happily rub that over my face. <laughs> I just eat it. <laughs> I just eat it. Um, weird. Weird. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Should I, did I say that out loud? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you eat some more pork belly. So I'm going for the end of this I'm... pork belly that's got the crisp to it. The bark. Mm. Did we even describe the flavour of that, or did we just say yum? I don't even think we attempted mm. to describe it, did we? So it's kind of salty. Okay. The little bit of the bark around the outside is still like fatty smoky. and smoky. So you get the, the little chew of the meat, but then you get the little bit of the fat on the outside, yeah. which is really, really tasty. Yes. And it suits perfectly with that creamy, cheesy corn, doesn't it? Yes. And um, you do not need a knife. So, gonna hand with that. Yeah. Just oh, it just tears it apart. Look at that. This is outstanding. These other places, mm. they've got something to live up to. Yeah, yeah. But we've not even tried the sides yet. No, I'm going to take one of these tubs of beans. Okay. S -s Let's try this. And the beans have got the brisket in there. Yes. Look delicious. I'm just going to go, can I use this spoon? No. 
Okay. <laughs> you listen. I, I always listen. Like... No, don't. Those beans taste like beans. Taste them on their own? Mm-hmm. They're sweet. Mm. Yes, they are, aren't they? A meaty sweet. And we cannot make a joke about baked beans. No, not beans on toast. We can't make <laughs> beans on toast. Somebody told us off for that the other day. Well, mm. our beans don't taste like these beans. They no. look like it, but they do not taste. It's like, they're wow. sweet and delicious. And, and then, I bet if you try that with some of the meat as well, beans, I'm going to try some of the brisket with that. I'm going to try some of the potato salad. I'm still not convinced about potato salad. I'm going to try. That, bris wow. Brisket and beans. That sounds like a perfect combination. Try it. How was that combo? Mm. Is it good? I think you should try the potato salad because it is very flavorful. It has... Um, it smells? You can taste the Were fresh herbs. Were you saying herbs. something? I was. You can taste the fresh herbs in there. You really taste the herbs. Mm. They run right through that, don't mm. they? It gives it an extra level of flavour, mm. doesn't it? Mm. That is delicious. Oh my goodness. So? We're going to finish all this. But which is your favourite bit? I'm going to tell you at the end. Okay. Of course, to give you, because we're going to compare it to all of them. So oh, okay. I'd hate to give away, because I don't think it's fair to be else. You just ask me so you can eat the pork belly. <laughs> I think we should finish this mm -hmm. and we'll meet you at the next spot. Yes, we will. We are here in Kansas City trying to find the best barbecue. We've heard that this place, LC's Barbecue, might be a hidden gem the locals don't want you to know about. Let's go. I can't wait. Look at this wow. food. I need to get you in the shot, wow. darling. Oh, can I, can I be in this one? No. <laughs> Look, oh, there's too much food. Oh my God. Wow, this is a huge portion of everything. Yeah. I'm a little stage struck by this. I don't know what I don't know where to start or what to do. I'm going in. I'm yes. just gonna go straight into the Okay. So we got pork and beef burnt ends here. And they're mixed, are they? They are mixed together. Okay. And I'm guessing the pink one yeah. is the pork, so like that one. And yeah. the browner one is the beef. Yeah. I don't know if I'm right. Yes. But look at the colour of it. Uh, look at that char. Look at that. Char, no bark. It's bark. Char bark. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> oh. Wow. So, um, that tastes so smoky. Yes, yeah, absolutely. It If you like a smoky taste, which I do, mm. that's definitely smoked. It's delicious, isn't it? And it's laid on a bed of bread, which is soaking up all of the juices. It looks delicious. It's so tender, yet chewy. Yeah. Isn't it? And it's thicker cut, isn't it? Or the, the kind of rougher cut rather well, than square. Is... Well, I think this is like the brisket, isn't it? So, mm. like, it is delicious. It's so well seasoned. Mm. That, I can't get that that smoky taste. I really like the smoky yeah. flavour. I mean, and if you look at, say, that, mm. that piece there, mm. it's got like a ring of bread around it. Mm. Mm. There's no hiding in this place either because they smoke mm. it in front of you. Yeah. You literally, where you're paying, you see the smoker. Mm. Oh, that is mm. delicious. Look at that. Yeah. It's chewy, it's flavorful though, isn't it? Yeah. It's it's like salt and pepper and seasoned to perfection. Mm. The mm. the one with the bark on has got like a slight more hint more hint of a like a burnt bite. Which like is delicious. Taste. Yeah. That is so good. Mm. You can tell how good it is because I can't stop eating it. Yeah. This is really good. Look at and that. It comes bit. in a thick layer of sauce, Look doesn't it? Look at the colour on that. Yeah, mm. it's already got the barbecue sauce on there. Mm. So we don't have to try and work out how much to put on here because mm. they've done it for us. Um, we apologise if this uh, there's like a layer of smoke around us. That actually fizzy, like Nicola said, they're, cook they're cooking it. The smoker is inside the stove. It's not the lens. Not no. the lens is not cloudy. And they spray it with water, it's like like smell. a hose pipe water, to basically get more steam into the uh, the cooker. I feel the smoker, that. Sorry. We need. What are we going for next? Should we try? No, we have so much to go at. I don't know. The ribs. Ribs. Let's try the ribs. Do we do the ribs? Yeah, let's do the ribs. Wow. Look at that. And I've got the end piece here, the very tip of it. I've never been quite so scared to wear white. Until now. Oh, wow. Is it good? Mm. It looks good. 
The smoke on those is delicious. Oh. How oh, good yeah. is that? Mmm. That is the, the bark on it. Yes, yeah. That dark colouring is the smoke, isn't it? That and smoky flavour. And like you say, there is a pink ring there, isn't there? It's got, a... <laughs> <laughs> it's got a crispiness to it as well, which I like. Mm. Again, mm. it's perfectly cooked. Mm. It's tender and chewy. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> and this is on a piece of bread too. I want to taste this sauce on its own. Yeah. Barbecue sauce. Ah. Well, you know how to do that, don't you? We've got some spare bread here because we got a few there, so I'm that's, gonna try that. That's sweet. Sauce. Yeah. But tangy. So just the bread. That's... It's not overly sweet. It's not like really, really sweet. It is sweet, but it's kind of more like a tempered down yeah. sweet, isn't it? It's perfect. That is delicious, actually. It adds to the flavour. It doesn't kind of detract from it, does it? And they sell bottles of that, so we might have to take one of those yeah. home with us. Oh, how do we get it in our suitcase? We can, li <laughs> we can leave some of your stuff here. No, I mean, security, can you imagine <laughs> it? Through TSA? Excuse um, me, sir. Anything to declare? Why have you got 17 bottles of barbecue sauce in your bag? That barbecue sauce is delicious. Yep. It's tangy as well. I'm going to try another one of these ribs. It's almost a little bit vinegary, isn't it? This barbecue sauce. Yeah. And look, I'm really scared. It, it kind of... Oh, God. Did I get your shirt? I then? don't know. I don't know. But the part of me that said, I'm really scared, as you carried on doing that, I'm like, oh, God. It's my fault for wearing white. Mm. That is so good. Isn't Those it? ribs are really good. Uh-oh. I'm blocking everybody's views. Okay. Oh, sorry, I'm blocking you. Don't mind me. There we go. Right. There we go. Here we go. There we go. This is a mixed plate. Yes. So it's got turkey. What have I got on here? Turkey, pork, and ham. I think I need my eyes testing because I'm squinting. Yes. But the turkey already the turkey is the first thing you see. Yes. And look at the juice. That yeah. you know when you look at something you're like, that looks juicy. Yes. I'll lift a piece up because people might not be able to see it, but look at that. It's glistening. It falls apart. Oh wow. Is it as good as it looks? It is. Let's get a piece of that. That is good. I don't know how you make turkey like that. That is. Hopefully and we'll ever find out because was that not in the smoker? Yes, it was. Yeah. So how do you smoke it and it doesn't dry out? Just to cook turkey mm. takes forever. That is delicious. Mm. That on your sandwich on that bread? Yes. What do you think this is? Is the ham, do you think? Yes. Do you think this is the ham or the pork? Well, ham and pork are the same thing, are they not? Mmm. <laughs> that turkey is just so succulent. Oh, wow. Juicy. Mm -mm. Taste the ham. And it all comes in this tray with just sauce all over oh, it. Oh, there, I found the pork. Ah, uh, so it's like pork. a pulled pork and yeah. then like a yeah. sliced pork. Yeah. Yes. It's salty. Wow. Everything is, I think, I, think, I keep forgetting to tell you, mm. this is all really well seasoned. Mm. I'm almost just taking it for granted now that everything has to be seasoned. Because mm. we left England. Yes. We're like Dorothy. Yes. Aren't we in the Wizard of Elves? <laughs> I, I'm not like Dorothy. Yeah, Back to Kansas. I get the I've now? never seen Wizard of Oz. How can you never have seen the Wizard of Oz? <gasps> Should I have it? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Guess what we're going to watch tonight? Yeah. Not the Wizard of Oz. Yes, we are. <laughs> we're going to watch Wizard of Oz. This is, sorry, I was going to be the poor. Oh. Oh wow. I don't know quite how you can get all this meat so tender. With that bark on it. There's a lot of it, isn't there's it? A lot. Look at this. This is a plate. That's more than a plate. There this must a... be two pounds of meat there. This could feed a lot of people for a lot of days. That pulled pork is delicious, isn't mm -hmm. it? That is absolutely delicious. And when we finished all these three places that we've been to, yeah. I'm going to tell you which one was our favourite and how much all of this cost. Yes. This is an awful lot of food. But before we get to that point, I've got to try the baked beans. Okay. I think I've got a fascination with baked beans. 
Why? Because in England, glass come in a tin and they're quite bland. Yes. Whereas every single baked bean we've had here, even in Texas, they all taste so different. Yes. And they do not deserve to go on toast. No. <laughs> and they all have something different in them, or flavouring mm. different, don't they? These are some oh. good. Don't gate keep them. Sorry. Just share them. There's some good baked beans. Okay. Oh, wow. I'll be the judge of that. Right. So it looks like they've got meat in them. It does have. Sorry, I am doing a terrible job of describing them mm. all time. I was yeah. wolfing everything down. They do have chunks of meat in there. They are so sweet and they are sweet. delicious, aren't they? But again, not that um, artificial mm. sweetness, is it? They are sweet, but it's not like some of these tips load of brown sugar in there. No, and they've got crispy bits in there, mm -hmm. which the is like the, the meat bits. Oh, that is delicious. This is outstanding. Mm. I think we should finish all of this mm. and we'll come back with our conclusion. Which one mm. was our favourite? Mm. So, we are back with our findings. We are indeed. We have done the triple threat we of did. barbecue. We did. And we told you we would tell you which one we preferred. Yes. And why. And how much they cost. Okay, so let's start with... The... Three days later. Classic. Okay. So Which is in the gas station. Yep, so Joe's Barbecue is arguably one of the most famous in, in Kansas City from what we've read, what we've seen. It is, and it cost us this much right here. Mm. Now, what were your thoughts on that? We didn't appear to get as much food as the other places, but that was kind of okay because we got enough, didn't we? Yes, quality. Yes, it was. So now what was the quality? What was the I was part? just about, the most famous part is the G-Man sandwich. Z-Men. Oh, the G-Men. <laughs> Seeing as though we're renaming everything today. We are. We'll go with that. But it's actually the Z-Men. Okay, so the Z-Man sandwich. Yeah. I thought it was nice. Yeah. I love the onion ring on there. That was really tasty. I like the textural differences because yeah. you had the crunch of the onion ring, didn't you? Yeah. Softness of the bread. Yeah. I felt that the sauce kind of overpowered that though. There was a lot of sauce and not much meat flavour. Yes, yeah. The meat wasn't as tasty or flavoursome as I was expecting it to be. It was a little overpowered, I'll, I'll agree on that. Yeah. It was really good. Then, what, so what did you think of the modern twist on a classic? Wow. There was three or four of those items that I really enjoyed. And it also cost us a little bit more. It cost us yes. this much right here. It was the most expensive of the day. It was, but we got a lot of food, didn't we? Yes, there was like a tasting board of all the different meats. Smoker's board. Yes, and then we had the little side plate of extra meat. Yes. Which was also delicious. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that probably had three or four items the most flavoury. And it had a lot of flavourful food there, didn't you it? You did, yes. There was nothing there that I would have been disappointed in getting. No. Then we go on to the hidden gem, which is not so hidden. No. Apparently everybody knows about Elsie's. Yes, we actually went to Best Buy and the guy behind the counter was asking us why we're in town. Barbecue. And he immediately recommended that. So I think if you're a local, it, it's definitely somewhere you would know about. And it cost us this much. Boy, oh boy. Arguably, we we got enough food for six people, didn't yes, we? Yes, It was a lot of, lot of food. It was a lot of food, but it tasted. If you like yeah. a smoky flavour, yeah. that had smoke for days, didn't it? It did. It was heavily sourced as well. It was heavily sourced. You didn't uh, have to, to do it yourself. It was already nah, done. Whereas the other two places, the sauce came kind of on it, but more as an accompaniment. Yes. I can't even say that word. I don't know why I even tried. Yes. On the side. On the side. Uh, but I, I liked it. I didn't think it was bad. Yeah. Probably because Bon Jovi had been there. Oh, and you like Bon Jovi, I don't do. you? Yeah, it was the first house I ever went to. Bon Jovi fun. I know. Yeah. Anyway. Moving on. We have to decide there has to be one winner and i think we should do a three two one and both announce okay which one was our favorite but, so but what's the parameters of that is it that was the actual best that you would go back to or all of those all of those things all okay. of those okay so three two one two thirty nine and on that, that bombshell, bombshell. Yes. see you next time.